In today's video, I want to show you how human resource team might use Copilot for M365. So I will be showing you some of the real world scenarios how Copilot will be going to benefit it for them. So let's get started. The first thing that we wanted to do is creating a job description for the director of product development. So let's see how Copilot can use since in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to use the prompt to write a job description in Word. I will go to Copilot. Then I will give the prompt right here. Write a job description for a manager of product development role with five plus years of experience. Let's see what he's going to give to me. So Copilot has put together a job description now. So let's go and copy paste this into the Microsoft Word document. Click insert. So here it has given me a nice job description to start. So I can do the edit. I can do the customization until I meet my needs. But this will gives me a really good idea of how to start a job description. Next, I want to develop a three months plan for onboarding the new executive assistant. So let's do that in Copilot as well. And this gives me a way to start that onboarding plan. So I just want to take that and I can easily modify it to meet my needs. So I'm going to use Copilot. And here I'm going to give the prompt. Develop a three months plan to onboard a new hire of executive assistant in the product development. And this will be the result from the co-pilot. So if I don't like it, I can easily regenerate again. And it gives co-pilot the other clues about what I'm looking for and the results and the co-pilot will go ahead and it will regenerate to you. Next, I wanted Copilot to conduct a salary survey for five cities for the director of product development. And I'm going to use Copilot from Word for that. Here, I'm going to give the prompt. Provide a typical salary range for a director of product development role with five plus years of experience in these five cities. So Copart will gives me the results, but also it gives me the link back to where it got those results as well. So if I go and click on to the one right here, okay. the best thing, the Copart it gives you the results, but also it gives you the links, the references, how it got those results. So it's really important where you can easily verify those results as well. So now I'm going to use to copy these results to the word. So now I can share with these among my other human resource team as well. And we can determine what is the appropriate salary should be for this position. Next, let's focus on the job that we are hiring for, which is a product manager. So what I'm going to do is generating some interview questions. So when I talk to a prospect, so then I can have a nice set of questions to ask them. So let's do this also in Microsoft Word with Copilot. Let's go to the Copilot. And we'll give the prompt here. 
generate 10 interview questions for a product manager with 10 plus years of experience for the product development department. It will start generating it. So Copilot gives me a response. Now let's copy it to the Microsoft Word. So here I have a nice start on the interview questions. So I can certainly change the number of questions that I want. So here I just mentioned only 10 questions, but I could specify as many as I wanted. So I don't have to go with this. I can do the changes if I wanted. I can add them. I can change the wording if I wanted. But the main whole idea is that Copilot gives me a place to start, which will save a lot of my time. Next, I want to show you how to compare multiple resumes and find the best employee for the position. For that, I'm going to use Copilot in OneDrive. Here, I'm going to select all the four resumes that I want to be compared. Then we go to Copilot, we select Compare Files. Now it will compare all four resumes according to their skills, qualifications, positions, and more and more. If we need to find out which candidate has the most extensive employment history, for that, again we need to go and select all four CVs. Then we go to Copilot and select Ask a Question. And now we'll give the prompt which candidate has the most extensive employment history. Based on that, we can find out Ethan has the most extensive employment history among the other resumers. I can also use Copilot to create templates in Word. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm going to give the prompt. Draft a customizable template for an offer letter. So here, the word template that I can use over and over again. I'm going to change it if I need for my specific needs, but it also really saves my time a lot, putting together the original draft of this letter. This will be the resume from the new employee, Ethan. So what I want to do is tell Ethan's new team a little bit about him. So I'm going to use Copile to draft an introduction letter. So it's going to draft an email to send Ethan's new team so they can find out a little bit about him before he enters the office. So let's do that. So I will go to Copilot and I'll give the command draft an email to introduce Ethan to the new team in the product development department based on this information from their resumer. So one thing that's nice about Copilot is I can have access to the other information on my system as well that it can give me a result. So in this case, I'm going to use Ethan Resumer and I'm going to tell Copilot where it's located. For that, I need to give forward slash mark. And select the Ethan CV. And let's copilot run. Okay, so it give me a result. I'm going to copy that to my word. So here we have a nice start for an email to our new team. 
next let's focus on how human resource team going to get a quick analysis in employee management data sheet with the help of copilot for this i'm going to use copilot in excel so let's go to the copilot here i'm going to give the command highlight the annual salary in green when about 60000 Now, Copilot has highlighted the annual salary, which is more than 60,000 in green. Now, let's see how Copilot will going to extract the first name and the last name from the column full name and insert into two separate columns. Copilot has now insert as two separate columns as first name and the last name. Now let's see how Copilot will going to sort the annual salary from the smallest to the largest. I click apply and now y'all can see the annual salary has been changed to from smallest to the largest now we'll ask copilot to give me a bar chart which will be showing the annual salary by designation I will ask to add to a new sheet. So therefore, it has given me a bar chart as well as showing the designation and also the sum of annual salary as well. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video all about Copilot for Human Resources. So if you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. See you soon from the next video.